Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for doing it. You tuned in on Friday, October 14th, 2016. This is the 404 Show. I'm joined today by the lovely and slender and 105 pounds sopping wet Mr. Russ. I'm always wet. What's up with that? Why am I always wet? I'm I'm like, like, I just got out of a pool. <laughs> and in the other corner, weighing in at 105. 43 oh, pounds. Keep going up. But Although okay. he just broke the fast, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Ben Fox Rubin on the program today. Yeah. Thank you, thank hey. you, thank you. Ben Fox Rubin, what's up, gents? How we all doing? Doing great. Mm. Yeah. Doing lovely, great. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. I have an update. Last week, Ben, we had a gentleman uh, that goes by the sleep doctor. Oh, yeah. On our program. Oh, yeah. Did you do the sleep doctor uh, coffee thing? Got a bone to pick with the sleep doctor. Did you do that, though? Shit didn't work uh, for me. Oh, no. So here's the... So so the, he's a sleep specialist. This he, was a guest on the show. Yeah. We've been having him on for years and years and years. And last week, he told me to get the most out of my morning coffee to wait two hours mm. to have it until, uh, after I wake up. Two freaking hours. Do you know how long two hours is without coffee? It's like, oh, I couldn't even do it. Well, you wake up, you like do baby stuff, and then you do your commute, and then you have coffee at the office. Yes, and I slept on the train. (laughs) Yeah, but that's pretty nice sometimes. I really (laughs) almost fell asleep. That's really funny. (laughs) It was tough. I could only do it four out of five days. Today, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because I had too much stuff going on. Uh, You know, people were, I couldn't do it. What was supposed to happen after? I was like, supposed, it was to, supposed like, to be blast like off to the moon or yeah, something. You were I don't supposed know. to turn no, he superhuman. Was saying that you wake up and you get this burst of natural whatever that wakes you up. That like thing. Oh that wakes man, you up is that you. BS? And then by the time that it starts winding down, which is about two hours after you wake up, that's when you drink coffee yeah. to refuel it. That's what he said to do. And that the improvement from drinking coffee right after you wake up is pretty minimal in comparison. Booties. Most of, most of the time when I wake up, I, I feel like an eighty year old. Uh, like patient I, I feel I like I got, even get out of bed yeah it feels like you were hit on the head with like a hammer right yeah I feel yeah. like I was so hungover for at least the first half hour until maybe I've had coffee that's what sucks about like getting older shower. man yeah you know I don't want to make this one of those things but getting older <laughs> sucks I was actually this way when I was in high school too I'm just terrible <laughs> at waking up was rough you yeah know? I'm just very very cranky in the morning I, and I have terrible. been doing the sunlight thing he said you know oh right so I open the window, I get nice southern exposure, so I open the window and there's a lot of sunlight. I get nice southern exposure. Southern, that's, a, a sentence, that's a real asset. It's a goddamn it's sentence a that asset. just came out of this guy's just mouth. Just saying, man, if you're looking for a place in Forest Hills, I got a nice Hey, what's up? You. How's it going? You know, I get really nice southern exposure. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. It sounds like a good sitcom. Yep. I guess so. The follow-up for no, Northern right. Exposure. Set in Miami. Set in Miami. <laughs> if Let's make the this moose, happen. The moose comes down. Make it happen. <laughs> if you're still interested in learning more about your chronotype, yeah. I want you to go uh, onto the website Amazon.com and you can mm-hmm. buy Dr. Bruce's buy that book. book, The Power of When. I did not think we would be talking about this kind of Chronotypes? stuff on the you show. Didn't think but you that's were it. Come we're done. Right? Now we're, we're done. Gonna, we're I gonna... wonder what you are, because like you take this quiz and you find out what animal you are. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fox. No, but that's <laughs> that, that wasn't one of the four. I feel like you'd be either a bear or a lion. Usually, I'm described as an otter. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> You do like otter. cute little things with yeah. your hands. An <laughs> otter or a duck billed platypus. Sure. I like that. I, yeah. I actually have a segue with regards to chronotypes. Yeah. And it's about the gremlins. Because I was thinking about this on the walk into work today. Okay. You guys are familiar with the gremlins of movie fame? I'll bite. I'll I, bite. Yeah, I'll bite. I'm, I'm game for this. Even though it's not, provided nothing but disappointment in the past, I'll bite. Yeah. What do you got there, Russ? Okay, so do you remember the rules <laughs> The rules regarding gremlins? Like what you can no. and can't do? You, you no can't feeding shine, after midnight. No right, feeding after midnight. And you can't like shine a flashlight at them okay. or something like they that. They don't like bright light, but sunlight kills them, yes. Oh, but, right. but the one we're going to focus on today is the can't feed after midnight. Right. Okay. So that, that, is your wife a gremlin? That's that what is, you're about to say. <laughs> that is made. Uh, they make a big deal about the midnight thing because if you feed them after midnight, they go from being mogwise. Really, they start as mogwais, which is what Gizmo is, and yeah. they become gremlins, which is the nasty version. But Gizmo of stays a mogwai. Yeah, even because after no one breaks gremlins. the rules. Like if someone fed Gizmo after midnight, he would turn into a gremlin. Is what I'm saying. Uh, okay. No, no. Isn't that how the gremlins came to be in the first place? Oh, Isn't you're that, right. Sorry. Yeah. They come out of his back. Yeah. As Ugh. like gross, weird balls. Yeah. yeah so if disgusting. you feed, right. So if you feed Gizmo, I guess. So I don't even know at that point. So he's a Mogwai. He's like the mother of the gremlins. Fine. Yeah. 
after midnight, but it, they never specify when it's safe again. Yeah, what's the cutoff? Them. It's probably 6 a.m. Yeah, you think it's probably sunrise. What about daylight savings? Like, or is like that if you're traveling internationally, like yeah. they, he gets yeah. a, gri- a gizmo from the Asian guy in the store, and like he's from, I don't know, somewhere in Asia, and he's got to be. You know, You're some right. different the time, time zones, time, right? Time zones different. So, may, yeah. So does the so the big question is: Does the time zone? I think rule, he's does Chinese. That I don't want to generalize. I think he's Chinese. Does this it is... transfer? Does it transfer over to the United States? Like, is, right. is that that's or is, is it Greenwich Greenwich Mean Time? Right, right, right. Is it moon related? Like, is it like a you know how like could be lunar based cycles? Could be are tied to that. Yeah. This reminds they? me a lot about yeah. kosher rules. Yeah, it's, it's like if you ate chicken on an f- international flight, right. and is it okay to have a cheesecake? Exactly. Well, of course. I, mean, that, I don't know if you guys are kosher, but I, I was, struck, you're very, kosher. I was brought up very kosher, oh, so right. I know all about what these the, rules, what's and they that were like. like? I mean, you know, whatever. It was just part of part of my life at it's, that point. So, when, so at what age did you first try bacon? Mm. Uh, I may have been in college. Holy wow. shit! Yeah. To have that's like giving that's like giving someone heroin. It was amazing. I it was I, amazing. Oh, it's it's fantastic. Were you were you like this delivers? I was this. very very mad at my parents at that point. Oh, sure, of course. I was like, Keeping I can't believe you. you have yeah, you've done this. You've to withheld me. this. I'm yeah. actually I keep kosher still. What? Eight hours every day I keep kosher. Okay. Yeah, while you're sleeping. (laughs) (laughs) Every single day. And then I wake up and I I have a giant bacon burger. A huge (laughs) bacon ball. I just fast for eight hours a day. It's weird. Very very pious. I don't even open my eyes. (laughs) Very pious. Yeah. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah, that that is amazing. Especially since it's like pigs are fine. Whatever. They're delicious. They're not going to hurt anyone. They're well, delicious. Well, isn't like the whole kosher thing, uh, you know, it's based off like before soap, right? Of course. Before yeah, soap, they couldn't yeah, but like, get the food clean. What happened with me was it was like the zealotry of a convert was that like I just started eating bacon constantly. Oh, yeah. You yeah. totally lean into yeah. it for all that stuff. Uh, I get crazy. it. I get it. Lean into it. Lean. Like lean bacon. bacon yeah. Lean bacon. Yeah. It's the best thing that, yeah, it, I don't know. Even, like, I've been eating it for 34 years and I'm still <laughs> excited about it. Oh, it's really? amazing. Okay. Yeah. Because it, it it it's like always the wild card to some dish. Mm-hmm. People are like, oh, we and tonight's special is scallops. Waiter will look at the whole table. He's like, wait for it. <laughs> Wrapped in bacon. <laughs> and then it's a party. And then it's a party. Everyone drops what they're doing and waves their hands the in there. The flag like, sky <laughs> comes out and dances. Confetti <laughs> falling from the ceiling. He's like, that's right, MRFers. Bacon wrap scallops. You could literally add bacon to anything and, and everyone would be on board. Even There's where nothing. it's true. Cereal, go Even for where it. bacon has no business no. being. Like chocolate. Yeah, that oh, shit works. It, it works. It actually does. I've yeah. tried that before. It's, it's quite delicious. Yeah. And I don't do like. It? I don't like bastardizing my chocolate with most things. Yeah, but how is, does, it's amazing. Is there anything disgusting that that kosher people can't eat? So at least they have that win, that upside. What do you mean? Is there like uh, oh, I mean like so, sea urchin is gross. Well, I've like never actually seafood. eaten sea urchin. Yeah, yeah. seafood. I guess like they can't. No, but can't lobsters have, good. Shrimp's lobsters good. Amazing. You can't have that stuff, right? Yeah, lobsters amazing. I'm just curious. Uh, I only like, had lobster. Is there like, like a, a full lobster once? Like, can you have Vegemite as if you're kosher? What the hell do I know? What is Vegemite? Vegemite's is like veggies? that Australian Weird spread. Australian, that's awful. It's made of yeast extract. So you if you like, could eat that, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you couldn't eat it. It'd be nice. At least they can have like, well, we can't have bacon, but we also can't have this thing that's gross. So we're not missing out on that. Most yeah, people but- are pretty hilariously um, unaware of anything when it comes to being kosher. So you could just lie to them if yeah, you it's felt true. like it. Be like, sorry, I can't eat it's that. It's like I'm my kosher. color blindness. I just tell people I see in black and white. It's really fun. <laughs> oh, that's screwed. I used to think that's what that meant. I used to think when I was a kid, there was two really dumbass things I used to think. I used to think colorblind people saw only in black and white. Sure. And I used to think a child... One day woke up and could speak. Like I used to think, Ooh. like I didn't realize that. Like oh, oh one this day is a before, super gradual process. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nope. I thought one day before, little Larry was a mute, and then the next That's day he like was Kirk reciting Cameron yeah. evolution, right? right. <laughs> and the next day he was reciting Shakespeare. Is what I thought is how it happened. Wow, it's kind of cool. I, I guess like when you're idea. five, like yeah. your, your brain doesn't really think about it too no. much. That's that's fine. Let's. I want to talk a little bit more about your lobster thing. So you've never had a. You've only had one Once. full, and you had a full lobster. Yeah, one time was I had a full shelled? lobster. I mean, like I've had lobster rolls and stuff oh, like that okay. before. Oh, okay, was okay. it shelled yeah. though? Yeah, yeah. It was I like can't this do whole that. Shelled it's too thing. much it was, work. Yes, that's exactly what I was about to say. And I paid like $45 to do all this work. It's crazy. I feel like I'm in the office. So here's the deal. Uh, I don't like the work either. I'll go to work on a claw. Mm -hmm. Like, give me, because that's what, because the the payoff is worth it. Sure. 
Uh, but I don't like getting served a full lobster. It also upsets me. I, I know it's contradictory to me loving the hell out of lobster, but every time I, I see like a lobster fried, uh, you know, it's baked a face. up. You see a face there. I yeah. just don't like it. Yeah. I somebody's, can't. somebody's dad. Give me his claws. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> it's someone's dad. <laughs> give me his claws. That's fine. Give me his tail. Oh yeah. Give me that tail. Yeah. <laughs> but once it's the whole body there, yeah, it's too they're much. too spidery too. Like crabs they're, freak they're me out sharp. Too. Like as you're trying yeah. to break them, they like cut into your hand. Like I'll eat crab no legs till, till the end of time. Yeah. But. The second I see like the whole body together, yeah, yeah, yeah I feel that, that way about fish too. Is that like yeah, you know, some of the, the head. some of the top grade like seafood places they feed you like the whole fish? Yeah, who needs that? The yeah, dude's looking at you while you're eating that. him. He's like, hey, that. hey, Not stop cool. eating that. Yeah, Not he's cool. like, hey, we could go. I was swimming. Was, <laughs> Look was, what you did to me. <laughs> it was awesome. I was it talking was, to Aquaman this morning. This morning, but now my gut just splayed out, and you're just eating that. Thanks. You're complaining about it too. You think I'm too dry. <laughs> You're just gonna throw me out, huh? You think I smell fishy? I'm a fish, goddammit. <laughs> All right, a lot of things have happened in the last couple of weeks in the wonderful, fascinating uh, world of technology. Yeah. Phones are blowing up, phones are getting canceled, phones are getting deleted from existence, which, mm. I mean, I know you guys talk a lot about it on the 359, but holy shit, this is unprecedented. I it call, is literally I, unprecedented. I called this shit. Months ago, you said there's Bryce. gonna be a phone no. one day. Get no, out of I here. Think, okay, so when this first started happening, though, I was like, they need to kill this brand right now. Wait, dude, but that never happened. Like, phones blow up. I feel like they blow up. It's not, not a totally not but by the time, happens. By the time the U.S. was stepping in and was like, we need to, t- we, we, this is a ban, like, and they can't be brought on. This planes. is a ban. This is a ban. Then all of the people that I know, there's a lot of people that like love their Note Seven. It's the best phone I've ever used. Blah blah blah. blah. But way more people have never used it, and way more people now just know of that brand as the Explodey phone right, brand. Mm. Right. And so at that point, you just need to kill it. Like, I don't think there can ever be a, a Note anything again. Um, it's, yeah, it's they're not totally going to make like possible. a Note 8. Yeah. They're not going to be like, featuring non-exploding technology. <laughs> they're just not going to do that. But then what would they call it? No, they'll just come out with... The Samsung Galaxy uh, I don't, big I phone. Think, I think they should wait even longer to come out with the next Galaxy. Like I understand instead of the S8. When does that come out? Usually March. around March of yeah. World like, Congress. That's soon. Yeah. I, they they really shouldn't do anything. <laughs> they should just sit tight. They just like hold up. Well, you heard about their washing machines too. Yeah. Like oh, they I didn't explode. Hear about that. They, they like spit out. If you put it on a certain cycle, they like spit out nuts and bolts and stuff. Whoops. So they yeah. make everything. They make ovens, refrigerators. Yeah. They're like GM. Yeah. 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 But yeah. this is troubling. And I was reading a story that's like, yeah, this is just the first time we rely on batteries way too much. They're way too uh, uh, explodey. Oh, like those lithium ion batteries? Yeah. yeah. Like they're just that's ticking true. time bombs. Well, that what was the problem doing? with the uh, with the with those scooter things. What the hell are they called? Hoverboards. Hoverboards. Yeah. yeah those were also like the bad non-hovering lithium. non-hovering hoverboards. Yeah. Bad lithium well, ion batteries. There was a lot of those. issues with those hoverboards. <laughs> Uh, the with the Samsung <laughs> stuff. So after it got taken off the shelves, they they felt like they knew. Oh, we've nabbed this problem. Like, no, we know- they still really. Yeah, but initially they they it's must true. have because they they started giving out new ones that were fixed of the problem. Right. So right. So they what did they think? They just thought the they battery claimed that was it was bad? like a yeah. It a was one specific yeah one specific manufacturer. I think. A so they were like, okay, we're like, not oh, doing okay. that. Yeah. And then the new one started blowing up. Just like Gremlins 2, the new batch. It's, it's exactly <laughs> what this is like. In fact, that's how it's been explained to me. The batteries were fed after midnight. And they're <laughs> yeah. right. So I think they still haven't, They even now, they don't really know what the problem is, which is the scariest part. And like, why hasn't this happened with Galaxy S7s? This, and how are I they going to prove that it's not going to happen with the S8s? That right. goes back to your point. They have, yeah. a, they have a blow up legacy. I got to say, if this is ISIS, you know, hats off. Because Bravo, oh. that's a good move right there. You think ISIS is, you know, burning some pants? That is some. You think ISIS is infiltrating battery uh, manufacturing? You know, I can't just say I've approved with anything they've done so far. But if this is their move, that's some James Bond shit right there. It's also like the it's l- just a the nuisance. worst. That's yeah, what I'm it's saying. Just convenient. <laughs> They're in our in our minds right. You'd be like, now. oh, ISIS just gave me a light migraine. <laughs> yeah, this is oh, really cool. annoying. Oh, ISIS burnt, forced me to back pants. up my contacts. <laughs> 
<laughs> that would be so. That's a terrorist organization I could get behind. That's what I'm saying. Just man. lightly annoying, right? Yeah. Just like a You'd slow like, poke, uh, a dripping faucet, if you will. Uh, That's really how you get to people. <laughs> no, uh, you, and I promise you, someone has written a headline that says, "Is this Jesus. the work of <laughs> right?" That sounds like Slate. Slate that would do like something. A slate story, right? Come on, guys, get on top of that, Slate. Oh man, it's a very bizarre chain of events that have transpired with that whole thing. I just, ugh, that's that's just bad news for them. They'll survive. It's that's bad the news thing for them. Yeah, they'll be okay. It's a big conglomerate. Sure. They're going to be okay. They could take a huge loss, and they'll be back with a big phone because okay. there is no other phone like that on the market. So yeah, I think well, my phone's kind of like that. The the, the Nexus Six P. Okay, and it How has is it a, but it doesn't have a stylus. It doesn't have a stylus. Just that's the, stylus. the thing. The stylus, the stylus, stylus is, is a, a big stylus. difference. Yeah, no, but there's just like a, a special magic one. Oh, okay. it's got magic uh, <laughs> powers. Yeah. So magic that's, drawing uh, powers. And look, sometimes magic powers cause things to explode. Yeah, that's, that's right. True. That's Tell right. me, you guys, give me your honest, honest to god opinion. Is the person who owns a Note Seven who has not had their phone blow up? Who refuses to tr- to br- to return it mm. because they are convinced? And look, the odds are with them that their phone will not sure. explode. Are they being an asshole? It, Absolutely, yeah, yes. totally. Okay, good, okay. totally. I'm glad we're all on the same. Page putting there. putting them and other people at risk for sure. It's I said this on the 359 yeah. that it's it's the new smoking because you can't even bring it to certain places. Right. I don't think that you could stow it in your luggage if you, you can. wanted to fly. They specifically say. If you have a Galaxy Note on the on the plane, every single point I've been on since it happened, really? they specifically say if you have a Galaxy Note Seven, you're not allowed to power it up, and you're it, being a douchebag, and you're being a douchebag. Yeah, but like, <laughs> who's gonna like raise their hand and be like, oh, "I'm sorry, everybody." <laughs> I mean, sorry, I have it. It's the TSA. What do you want? It's like, like, I just don't understand. Like, that's like, there might be. You you don't think that's the first time someone heard about this? You don't think that maybe there's a grandma that like, whatever, didn't know. I don't think this is a grandma phone. Yeah, this is not a grandma phone. If a grandma owns a Note 7, she got the text message that said, your phone's a ticking (laughs) fucking time bomb. (laughs) Return it at once. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Right? Either way, there probably will be some diehards. Out there but that's that what never I'm saying. Like they it. want to eBay it or something. Oh my god! You can't. Like, you're not allowed. No to. way. Are you you're not allowed, allowed to. to. Recall uh, products are now. not allowed on eBay. Okay, period. some other source on the dark net. I'm not saying. Okay, web. hold on. I'm not saying that you can't sell it on but eBay. eBay you're just it. not allowed to. Right. Look, they might not even get to it. Wait, can you do like on eBay? Uh, note six plus one. <laughs> note yeah. six. Get around there. So the yeah, one yeah, after they note could, six. You could definitely like it would turn into like a black market for note seven trading. There's got to be like a technology museum that definitely wants these in their stores, like in their display. In like it's some, like a pretty major technology moment. It is the most defective tech product like i want to say like ever i mean i at least like the most infamous i think league. xbox was probably before this the big yeah but one. it wasn't whatever, dangerous yeah it wasn't gonna potentially yeah. land just, a flight your xbox like, just turned into a brick yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah people complained about apple maps for like a couple weeks right that wasn't this a, is insane that nearly big of right. a deal. this is the story that won't go away and what about the fact that like how many did they sell a million Roughly? Two point five yeah, million. A lot. So what? That was what, in the first where recall. Where do you throw out two point five million phones? Oh, they've got somewhere in China. No, but they're going to dump them. In <laughs> that's where they, ever, all the technology in gets China. thrown. But like, yeah. aren't there like rare earth mi- minerals? In, Definitely in phones. They could like, probably mine it, that stuff. For... I feel like they need to strip them and chop them down and like. And turn harvest. them into no dates. No, just like harvest their <laughs> rare earth elements. You're picturing like a Terminator, like they get lowered into molten lava and then pulled out. And I guess just, that's like, what I'm resources. picturing. I don't know. I, just, I would say this, that if I was the guy that owned the technology museum, I would showcase one of the phones that yeah. had already exploded. Oh, totally. Yeah. Because, then, because then it wouldn't explode on me because it had already done it. If right. you happen to be in New York City... It's already been disarmed. Right. <laughs> if you happen to be in New York City, you should go to the Nintendo World Store. Yeah, that's, that's good. Because they have the original Game Boy, mm. uh, which ran Tetris, as you might know. Um, and it was actually in uh, the original Gulf War, Gulf War One, and got blown up or something. Oh, wow. And it still runs. Wow. <laughs> It's such That's a durable awesome. piece of machinery. But yeah, it's like totally, the outside is like burnt to a crisp. And uh, yeah, it still runs. Yeah, that thing was still like, entertaining. That thing was like a 
paperback novel. <laughs> it was oh, man. Like, bigger than that. Spent a lot of time. It's like two around towers that thing. thickness. <laughs> oh, that's that ridiculous. takes me way back. That takes me to elementary school. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we got to get to PlayStation VR. It's yep. it's worth the conversation. It is. More with Ben Fox Rubin on this episode. Stay tuned. Our sponsor today is Vega Coffee. Once again, thank you, Vega Coffee, for sponsoring the 404 show. Uh, Russ, Ben, you sit here in front of me. We have a bag of Vega Coffee beans in front of us. Smell Russ that sniffs coffee. the bag. He smiles. Smells and then, very good. I don't drink coffee us. personally, but I, for the people that do drink coffee, including my wife, who absolutely loves coffee, yes. that smells like the coffee that she absolutely loves, so I think she's going to be very happy. I just tried the dark roast. I'm a big fan. I like that dark roast. And uh, Vega Coffee is the subscription service. That you can get that is not just a service, but a movement because Vega farmers own the entire production process. They own the whole process. They grow, roast, and package coffee at the origin in Nicaragua. I said I said that right. Thereby eliminating the usual middlemen. So you pay less than you would with comparable specialty brands. And get this, Russ and Ben. Mm. Your purchase of Vega Coffee enables farmers to earn more income. They make more money. You feel good about yourself when you oh do God. that. That's it very transforms nice. their lives and their families and, and their coffee. communities. Yeah. Each coffee delivery is carefully curated to bring you the most exquisite flavors from specialty micro lots. Ooh. What? Yeah, micro lot. That's a thing now. It's like a tiny, tiny lot. Mm. <laughs> Filled with coffee. Every batch is made up of 100% what? Beans. Coffee. What kind of beans? Arabica beans. Arabica beans that are naturally grown, hand-picked, and artfully roasted by the people who know coffee the best. Them, their farmers. So break up with big coffee and let your daily ritual become part of a bigger story. That's a lot of pressure for a coffee. Yeah, that I'm is. glad I'm glad they've taken that on. I haven't thought that much about coffee when I'm drinking coffee. Now I will. Now you will. Go to vegacoffee.com. That's V E G A coffee.com. Sign up for a subscription. Enter the promo code all one word, the 404 show, and you're going to get that first bag for free. Big thanks to Vega Coffee for sponsoring the show. Hey, welcome back to the show. Ben Fox Rubin is here. What's He's up? back. I am. What are you? What's like the thing you're covering lately? I saw you covered the Amazon stuff. What right? Amazon? Oh, stuff? did you do the grocery store stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what that they're it? like gonna open convenience stores. Is, is that, that what you're talking Amazon's about? Amazon's gonna weird? open convenience. They're gonna open That's bodegas. A That's a what? rumor. Yeah. So the Wall Street Journal reported it. So that's the what? and so I know what that they reporter. Sell? Uh, like groceries, like milk, bread, meat. Would they do breakfast sandwiches in somewhere other than New York City? Because that is literally the hardest thing to find. What? Maybe. I have a serious, I was in Chicago for an entire week, and the only place I can get a breakfast sandwich was Dunkin' Donuts. Like a it bacon and yeah, are disgusting. Yeah. Wait They're a second. bearable. They'll, they they'll are do not. In a pinch. They're have you tough. ever seen how those work? What? Those? Yeah. They just take disgusting. an eye drop. I know. Oh, they're and <laughs> I'm, I'm aware. Something they're not them. great, but in a pinch. As a breakfast option, it's either that. I would or have like, to be in a serious pinch, but yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. And in most I don't think cities, they're doing it's a real, tro- a real. Problem. I don't think they're doing breakfast sandwiches, sandwiches no. by the way. Oh. And I personally think that it's kind of a ridiculous idea. I agree. I mean, like the bodega concept has been overdone a million times. Like the whole reason Amazon exists is because they did something that nobody else did. Right. Before. You want to circumvent, but the bodega. I think there are a right. lot of you guys. I think are blinded by being in New York City. So many cities do not have bodegas or, or just convenience stores like or a CVS or like, a Walgreens like, or a where, 7-Eleven. Where is it viable for a bodega to exist where there isn't already one? I think like a small neighborhood, like if you have a residential neighborhood and everyone just wants to pick up like, oh crap, I'm out of milk. You don't want to like drive to the CVS. But bodegas work because they make, bodegas make money because they charge $5 That's for a gallon saying. of milk. Yeah. So, but I'm just saying, Amazon like, probably will. No, yes, but like, oh, you're gonna, more. then I'll grow to resent them. I'll just be like, oh, screw this place. It's got four year old cereal. They'll be making money off of your resentment. I don't know. Maybe I don't know anything about Amazon because the whole bodega concept to me doesn't make any sense to me as far as what I've been covering with the company. Everything that they've been doing has been how do we get stuff to your door faster? Right directly to you and stuff that's like immediately like like milk that's like really hard so like actually you got to keep it cold it's gonna right. go bad quickly yeah. whatever should do the bag thing like they do in canada the what yeah the milk bags in canada they have milk, milk bags, bags. Yeah, yeah they have that in israel sounds too. dirty They're kind of awesome wait a minute why <laughs> they have is chocolate the... milk in a bag in israel yeah. why is the milk in a bag i don't know why no, is it... it's to save on plastic i think because it's like the bag takes up less plastic 
Then and so cardboard. Then, ca- then cardboard. Well, oh, cartons, yeah. Cartons, then cartons. Did you forget or... for a second? That <laughs> okay, cartons, fine. That milk came in <laughs> well, cartons. Okay, certain sure. milk does come in. All oh, right, it does. Like true. the Wawa milk comes in a big old plastic. Yeah, jug. you get the big old jug. That kind of thing. Huh. All yeah. right. I'm. I'm not sure where we've arrived from that. <laughs> oh, but what about the whole like? Every time I go into a bodega, I'm like, thank God there's an Amazon. Yeah, I I feel like this would be counterproductive. This would be a step back. They yeah, are designed. My feeling, they're but. designed to get something in under an hour or like five. You have five minutes. You need some, something fast. Amazon is designed to get something, but it longer just seems like a step back for them. Like you don't need I would to be doing. Totally this. agree with you. I when I saw this thing, I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I don't understand. And haven't they experimented with brick and mortar stores in the past? They are. Been, they are. Not, they have. Like they have like the right? the bookstore. Yeah. Well, they have have the pop-ups yeah. in malls but they also have just a handful of bookstores too huh. but those bookstores are basically showrooms to show off the devices to right. show off like different books and Which, stuff that makes yeah. sense yeah just to basically reinforce the amazon brand and yeah. they're also huh. kind of supposed to be like kind of nice looking i think that they have like um you know like you could get coffee there and different right. things like that like when i think bodega or 7-eleven dust yeah i think like it's kind of like grimy yeah. and whatever and what like, if they what do does the amazon apple, add to that what if they do the apple version of apple store version of that which is like a clean then super, they would have to charge like ten dollars and yeah, maybe people will milk. do that i i think as an experiment you do it at three or five or ten locations and just see what happens i don't think that's a problem yeah I all mean, right We'll Look, see how it goes. The whole point is, is that everybody thinks like Amazon's been growing at like 20% revenue growth a yeah, year. Yeah. And so like, how are they going to keep doing this? Yeah. They have to get into brick and mortar. That's the big, like, that's a big concept. Like, like a lot of analysts and mm-hmm. Wall Street folks are thinking is like, well, they're going to have to start poaching into the yeah. brick and mortar world. So every single time they open like one bookstore in Chicago, everybody sits up and like, oh my God, Amazon's going to. But that's a temporary spike. I don't. Yeah. I mean, but like nobody ever knows what they're up to either. You know, like yeah. they let they let us run our, you know, run wild with the stuff. They don't confirm or deny a lot of things. They just do their own thing. Yeah. They're kind of like Apple in that way. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Who knows? There you have it. And then Amazon Fresh is still a thing, too. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. told you that. That's like, what the fuck? That thing's annoying. What are you doing? <laughs> they give me bags. I don't know how to give the bags back. It's really, I don't like oh, You what? actually use Amazon I, I tried it once and I was like, oh, I have <laughs> these have bags. bags I don't now. have to give these bags Because the bags are nice. They're like cooler bags. So and keep you, the bags. You can actually keep the bags, but I had to like look online. I was worried they're going to charge me for the bags. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't oh. want to use it again. Because oh, yeah. it was more expensive than Fresh Direct. Oh, all right. So. I still use Fresh Direct. I like them a great deal. Yeah. Um, okay. PlayStation VR. Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. pivot right into that. Let's jump right in. This uh, came out this week. Mm. Um, critically, it has seen mostly, I would say positive to average to positive. Yeah. Nothing super glowing. Nothing glowing. Nothing Sounds to me because awful. the bar was set pretty low too. I, in, yeah, in the VR world. I think so. I think once Vive and Oculus came out to very tepid, uh, you know, uh, receptions, I think, I think Vive reviews were pretty positive. No, no they were. It's just they like were, the pricing like, was so high. The pricing oh, yeah. was so high. And I think that general sort of landscape has left a lot of people being like, oh, I'll get to that. Yeah, when it's well, not. 100%. It's not changed the world one iota. Right. So then PlayStation VR com- comes in and yeah. it is a more accessible uh, technology. It's a more affordable technology, especially if you have a PlayStation 4, which 45 million of them have been sold. Yeah. So uh, I did the review for CNET and I kind of like it for the most part. I think... The, you know, the biggest knocks I would give it is it's got a slightly less of a viewing angle. Yeah. Uh, and the tech is not the best. No. Mm. And that's not the headset problem. That's the PS4 That's problem. just the fact that they shoehorned VR into right. a video game console the PS4 that is, never had intentions what, of What, three doing. years old at this point? It's three years old. And that's when it came out. Yeah. That means it's been in development for God knows So how imagine long. trying to run VR on a computer that you bought for $400 three years ago. Like... That's yeah, essentially what that's, you're trying to do. You, you can. I'll let you say that. Right. <laughs> I'll let you say that. So it's it not surprising a reason for a PS5 run. then. Well, I mean, that, like yeah. because we waited like ten years between the PS3 and the PS4. Well, right? it, what it gives you reason for is the PS4 Pro, which right. comes out in November. So that's Ooh. the PS4. Did you know about that? You guys are teaching me something. There so PS4 go. Pro will play all the PlayStation 4 games you've grown to love, but better at a better 
resolution potentially better performance overall. Yeah, better Didn't they just come out with the slim? Yeah, they're just no, coming that, out. Uh, yeah, the slim is no different. Slim yeah. is just replacing it's the, the same original. thing. Yeah, it's just so they're new... not going to sell the older version of the PS4 anymore. The PS4 Pro, yeah, will will run things like VR and certain uh, you know AAA titles, Battlefield, you name it, will run theoretically better, assuming the developers put the legwork into making right. it run better. A lot, and you know, again, like. The problem I have with this whole thing when you talk about Xbox's Project Scorpio and and this PS4 Pro is they have thrown around that 4K resolution lingo a lot. And these games, the vast majority of them will not run in 4K You're talking native about resolution. VR games? Not no, games. no, standard, standard video games. games. Um, Plus you need a 4K TV right, to really enjoy it. For, uh, Project Scorpio, the jury's still out on that. Yeah. That's a year from now. Maybe it'll run a lot of games natively in 4K. We just don't know yet. But PS4 Pro is only going to have like a very few yeah, no. number of games and running And they'll do upscaling 4K. to 4K, but it, they can't run natively based on those specs. So yeah. There's no way. Uh, let me ask you a dumb question. There are no dumb questions on this show, this Russ. You place. should know that. 4K. So so I was I was looking this up recently. The, the 4,000 does not convert well to the whole like 1080p 720p don't, don't think of it that's like where that. i get overwhelmed don't think and of it like that there's too many numbers flying just around. Th- there so are a like, lot of numbers so even with 1080 so 1080p is 920 by 1080 right uh, 1920 Wait, 1920 by 1080 yeah yeah uh so 4k is, is like 3850 by 24 so something. where does the four come from 3850 or whatever it is that's so they're just rounding up yeah yeah that's like a marketing thing. i don't like it well, that's not a big deal. I'm going to go to the government about this. Go to the Better Business Bureau. I, you should. You call should, them up. You know what, Russ? You should write a letter. <laughs> Where's my be. extra Ks? <laughs> you should call your congressperson. <laughs> I need at least one more K. <laughs> Is that what you're really like hung up on? Though? I just think it's annoying to me because 720p and 1080p were such a precise... Like yeah, but like they're yeah, but like also who's the lo- remember and they're also the lo- I remembered for years. I remember it too, but it's not very saying. consumer friendly. But they're also the lower number, right? Like so you're so the number you're ups- Oh, okay, I understand what you're saying. It's, right? Yeah, it's not four thousand. It's right. Not, it's it's not. no number in that duo is four thousand. It's, it's fine. You call me when you get a four K television. And then there's the idiots that think it's four K four thousand pixels, which oh. is like no, no, that's that like a tiny little square. That is not. <laughs> who thinks that? Because whoever thinks that. <laughs> Should just be spanked yeah. on the butt. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, okay, butt we went a bunch there. Of times. <laughs> uh, so pl- back to the PlayStation VR. You've played with it? Yes. What do you, what's your takeaway? Yeah, so I think, first of all, I think the, the helmet, the headset, is the best VR headset I've worn. It's pretty good, if it, although it does kind of feel cheap. I think, I think. It, but I think it feels more comfortable and more like you can wear it for longer than either the uh, Vive or the Oculus. I do agree it feels a little bit cheaper, but actually... I'm sort of fine with that because comfort is definitely a priority for me. I think yeah. it also kind of, lo- I mean, it doesn't look cool in the traditional sense of cool, but it like doesn't look like something out of the future, which yeah, is you don't neat. look like the predator. You don't look like right. you've mm. like Vive and, and Oculus it's, Rift look like you made that in your basement. Yeah. 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 And this is what, this, and you're showing us this, this looks like a legit, like minority Product. report hard, uh, yeah. piece of hardware. Right. Uh, in terms of games, there's nothing like life changing in there. Uh, I think for, I think the real, who it's designed for is people that have never used VR before um, and want like a relatively easy out of the box solution. And you know, it's going to run and you know, it's going to run on your hardware because the PS4 is like a set thing. And it's kind of like a, you know, like flip the switch kind of VR solution. Now, if you've used Vive or if you use Oculus from a fidelity standpoint, it's they're night and day different. Like, uh, VR, P- PlayStation VR is definitely a step down from right. those because they're running on a two thousand dollar computer um, and they're able to do a lot more. See, that's why I'm interested to see what PlayStation Four Pro does. Yeah, I don't. It's th- not going to bring it up. It to, will bring but it up. But I think Oculus, it'll. But I think it'll do some. It'll help to bridge the gap. Yeah, it'll I think it'll help bridge that gap. So the big question though is: Is this the thing that's going to get people excited about VR? No. Well, see, you say Some, you but, say no, but I think it's going to do a way better job than the, either yes. of the two other guys. It is not as nerdy. Mm, as that is for two. sure. And, I, I would mean, agree with that. But like, think about it. Like, it's the it has the best chance out of all of them. It right. is it yeah. is going to sell better than 
both of them perhaps combined. Like it's going. Have they released sales on Oculus or uh, Vive? Not. I don't know it off the top of my head. They yeah. might. They might have. I'm, I'd be curious. I yeah. They sold well, five Vive headsets. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I called, we own three of them. I called Palmer. Yeah, Scott Did Stein you? is wearing them all right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, feel, <laughs> I feel like uh, there's just there's just not a lot of people that that were like, yep. I've seen enough. I'm, I'm going to spend yeah. $2,000 on this no thing. No problem. Yeah. So I yeah. agree it will do better. Um, it will help to spread the word. But I think that it's also going to be like, it's going to be a lot of people that buy it and they're excited and they'll show their friends and their friends will be like, wow, that's really it's cool. Dust. And then it's dust. Uh, it won't be like the Wii phenomenon where like no. people would try it at their friend's house and then need to buy it themselves. Oh, totally. They'll try it once or twice or whatever at a friend's house. And be that's like, what it was that like was for awesome. me in this office. Yeah, yeah. When they brought in, they, they, carted in the HTC Vive and like I played that awesome zombie game. Yeah. yeah. I would actually like to play that again, sure. but you know, I tested it out. I felt kind of silly because I knew everybody was like watching me yeah. and taking right. like photos that they would post yeah. on Twitter of me looking like an idiot. Yeah. Well, that's not and, yeah. rare, but okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it, it was one of those things where I didn't like crave wanting to play it, right. you know, which is something that you really look for in like a really good video game experience. Right. It's exhausting. It, yeah. It's, all it's, of VR is just like a it's mentally a whole thing. exhausting thing. Because it's a, it's a, it's a bombardment of the senses, right? Yeah. And it's not, and sometimes you have to stand to do it. A lot of the times you have to stand to do it. Which and means that it shortens your play time. It definitely, like time. I, I've never worn that headset for more than 40 minutes. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. Because uh, you just, you yeah. simply you're cannot not do, do an it all day. Well, PlayStation you're not Vi- doing a marathon. No. VR, I think thing. you can, PlayStation VR, I think you can play predominantly while sitting down. Most of the games, almost all the them, games yeah. work. Although the, some I wouldn't recommend. Right. Yeah. Some of them are like, the, like where you're actually sitting down in the game world. So it kind sure. of fits. Right. But yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any VR solution short of like once they're like my, the size of my glasses. Sure. Of maybe. Course, yeah. But we're, Five years, we're, ten, we're, seven years from that, we're removed from quite, that quite for, a bit for right now. now. You think Wait, quite a bit? How, how many, more than five? You think to get to the size of your glasses? That's well, it take depends on like what the fidelity is. But like, no, you don't think they could have just a wire coming out of the back of my glasses into like a pack that's on my back or something? I'm skeptical that that would come in five years. Yeah, think, five years seems quick. You're talking about a projected monitor essentially on my glasses. No, but what they need to do is it's not going to be that. There, when 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 it becomes the size of your glasses. Yeah. I think it'll be projecting it onto your eye. I really do think that. Oh, which is the glyph technology, oh, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. But to me, that makes the of, most sense because want. it's like, why do you, like, why would you make oh, yeah. the I headset mean, right? that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's more power into, uh, intensive to have like monitors or whatever it is. Plus, if you have uh, per, if you have complete uh uh, what, what would Peripheral the viewing vision. angle? The viewing angle would be 360, I guess. Well, no, you no, can't be, see 360. You can't 360, but what would it be? <laughs> it would probably be, be 180? like 180. Yeah, or maybe, or you know, something like that. Uh, because now the Vive and Oculus are 110 and PSVR is oh, 100. Oh, interesting. Wow. That's weird when you think about that. Like, what they really, the Vive or, I forget which one has a wider viewing angle, but when you're they, using it. Well, they both have the same. Okay. But they're you both really, 110. You really can't necessarily see the edges super like you kind of forget about the edges so. you do but you can see them on psv yeah you, but again looking, it's only 10 degrees right. like 10 degrees is nothing really right. mm. uh it's weird i've had of only one game kind of got me not sick but nauseous what game a uh, hundred foot robot golf oh yeah that <laughs> featuring some what of is my that co-works. game yeah it's very funny <laughs> yeah but that just what were you would you ask i wanted to i've been wanting to hear about what the games are so so there's this one game 100 foot robot golf where you are on the back of a gigantic 100 foot robot and Makes you sense. you're playing golf but the, the 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 whole the courses are just like the real world and you have to like make your way by bashing buildings to get to is the, ball. the robot mm, you're playing okay. golf as well the robot is your golf the ro- are you, guy. Are you, so is he hitting the ball? He's hitting the ball. Okay. You're just on his shoulder being like, you're what like up? tapping him. being like, the understand. ball's over there. Yeah, Go yeah. over there. It's like, like Iron, Iron Giant. <laughs> yeah, Iron Giant kind of yeah. thing. While, while the masses yeah. uh, run at your feet in, in horror. We obviously did not cover or review that game for obvious reasons. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Uh, people who do the commentary work for the, his company. Yeah. Oh. The Mc- oh. McIlroy Brothers. Okay. McElroy? McElroy, yeah. McElroy. 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 It's very funny. They yeah. did a great job. They are a funny bunch. Um. So So they're a first person show shooters too right there yeah so the, the heist there's like a heist demo thing london heist is where it's, what it's which called. is kind of like that uh, sounds fun it's fun that would be a good one it is good it, it it's is a little really janky cool. though it has one of the coolest moments where you pick up the, you know the move controller the playstation move controller is kind of like yeah a it's like a ping pong ball 
thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Anyway, let's, let's but you hold that. it up while you're and you're smoking a cigar. Yeah. And it has a mic, and you actually have to like exhale to like, and you see the smoke. Yeah, when you that's exhale. that's creative. There's some there's, there's some, some fun and trickery. I got there. I got legit creepy vertigo while playing. There's a demo where you get lowered in a cage uh, underwater, that's, and that's, you see like uh, animals swimming around. And I was like, yeah, that's. I was very skeptical, but like I felt the only other time I felt that level of vertigo was when I was snorkeling. So like. Even though it is the fidelity is not quite there, it is close enough to kick in my fight oh, or flight response. Without a doubt, and I don't want to like undersell this thing. Yeah, you get jacked in. Like, yeah, it, it, it for me, and I've played. I haven't played Oculus a lot. I'll admit that, but I've played hours upon hours of HTC Vive. Yeah, and that thing doesn't do any more. Like PlayStation VR doesn't give me less immersion than that. Mm. I'm, I buy it every time I'm in there it might look a little blurrier it might look a little more pixelated but I'm buying it like I am believing what I am seeing I have a question Jeff and there's not there's a there's no noticeable lag or anything like that too there can't be because your brain would fart out if there was yeah. it just wouldn't <laughs> just wouldn't do it okay someone comes to you Les Moonves comes to you. And oh, says, so you mean like every day of my life? Every right. day, every day of your life. Sure. He knocks on your door. And he's like, Jeff. Jeffrey, you've done this before, where he's showing up at my door. But go he's, off. Whatever. He's Jeffrey. a character in our life. Yeah, he's a recurring. <laughs> Here is a million dollars in <laughs> a sack. It? That's and it. There's a, like a dollar sign on it. Right. But you have to wear a HTC Vive for thirty days straight. You can't take it off. Of and course, it's constantly going. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Without yes. you, don't think your brain would melt? Okay, so oh, it so probably how long, would actually. But, but get... my family needs that. Money. <laughs> yeah, like I need that. How money. long would you be willing to go for for a million dollars? Uh, the month sounds good. Thirty days. <laughs> Thirty days. Thirty-one days, and I tell him to go a year to go <laughs> no. get Too lost, much. buddy. So there is a limit, right? Yeah, I couldn't do it after a year. You would probably have like um, some sort of like PTSD captive, situation. yeah, captive. Yeah. Yeah. That's syndrome. probably. Like the month would traumatize me, but I feel like I'm not there to come back from it. Back from, the year, it's like, oh, Jeff's a vegetable now. He's, he's gone. He's all gone. And you have to play Jom Simulator the whole time. You're just like, oh. So, so wait, go on with the rules. So I can't ever see the outside world. No. Ha, you ha, which would make, okay, which but I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you something. Which would make going into the bathroom you will very have to difficult. Sleep. Yeah. So you have to sleep. So that means when you sleep, it can't turn off, but you can play something like the space game where you're in space and just floating around. So at least it's darker. So you, oh, so I say now yes. I'm not. So here's the deal. I'm not I, into this anymore because <laughs> I'm also considering like the really effed up social ramifications of this. So like your I, baby doesn't know your face anymore. <laughs> like I'll, see, I'll, I won't see him for a month. And yeah. That's terrible. Well, someone could program your baby into a VR game, and then you could see him. Yeah. Oh but like, my if god. This was, if this was AR, it would be yeah, a, AR is fine. Well, I guess Vive does have sell. AR, but I don't. I, I'm blocking that. You're not allowed to use AR. You're a dick. Um. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I couldn't do it for a month. For a I could million do it, dollars. I could do it for a week. A week? A week okay. is nothing. I'll no, give you, it's a fourth of a I'll month. I'll give you 40 bucks for a week. <laughs> what? How is that? And then the last three weeks are worth a million? I'm less moon as I'm allowed to do whatever Shit, I want. Shit, man. So, I guess I'd have to do it, but it would really be upsetting. Would I would cry. It. I would cry. I actually, so I was at an AI conference about a week ago, and I met a guy who was wearing the HoloLens, the Microsoft HoloLens, yeah. Yeah, you for the him? past like five months. He's just been walking around with it. But that's oh, AR. Testing it out. It is, is AR. AR. It is AR. It's also But like, it was still kind of an interesting concept. Is that technology any better now? Because the I last time I, I saw it, which was E3, it was pretty bleh. I, I think he was... So he's a professor in uh, Florida sure. for like new media professor. And he okay. was trying to test it out. He wanted yeah. to see, okay, what are the capabilities? What are the limitations? Okay, you didn't need whatever. to do it for five months to test it out. <laughs> <laughs> he probably could have been a little it more chill about that. It pretty interesting to me, though. <laughs> it's an I interesting... Thought it was, you know, because he's really trying to be bleeding edge about it yeah. and see, like, no, can I live in an AR there's world? There's no software for it yet. So, like, what is he even seeing at that yeah, point? Like, like, he would, he he would open up, like, software elements and be like, oh, there's a cat in front of me. Or I can open up, like, what? a menu and stuff. And, like, he was he would show it to other people. He would take it off and they would try it on. And um, then a the lot of resets. The, <laughs> right. And, but, but a lot of the... Um, a lot, a lot of the hand gestures yeah. are not uh, as as intuitive as you would think. There would be like you would have to pinch hmm. with your fingers sure. to move the screen up and down, different things like that. So you don't just put it on your face and you immediately know how to use it. Like I would say with certain other products, like yeah. your smartphone. So that makes it a little bit more challenging too. Yeah, huh. I, yeah. yeah. I don't know what whether that pro, like it needs to be that needs to be like super small and like even then I don't know who that product it's tough. is for. It's tough, but yeah, we're just that we're just scraping the surface of this stuff. It's I, yeah, 
you know, I it is very cool technology. I just like I watched that that Facebook uh, Oculus press conference. Yeah, and I was just like, not like having a virtual conference feels like a 1995 like yeah. technology. Like what that's the world not, will be like. Yeah, that's not even a thing I'm excited about. Is, like, is it any better than doing it via video? No, like a video no chat. Upside. It's not yeah, really I don't that see much what the it's more uncomfortable. Is. Yeah, there's I have that. to wear a friggin' helmet to do this. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, and there's more tech to screw up. Yeah, because m- half of the video chats that you try to do in the office get yeah. screwed up I, to begin with. I wonder what will look back at this like like what in 10 years are we just gonna be like do you what is really the 90- thought we were like oh vr is right. gonna be a thing what i, I actually yes you I think agree. it's gonna be gone uh, it might be it might be i think people are pretty skeptical of this idea of, of like really immersing themselves a little too much in this stuff yeah i think that we're already seeing some pullback yeah. from from an etiquette and from a social perspective on smartphones that we spend way too much time staring into our smartphones yeah, I mean, smart and not having really like real conversation yeah, but like smartwatches are just the continuation to me. It's just another screen to look I at. Hate, you're yeah, you're right, fun. but they are one of the core tenets. The reason why people use them is that they allow you to glance down and then look back up rather than being like heads down. In, yeah, but your heads so, down in your wrist then. This is the longest conversation I've had all week. <laughs> so, I mean, it's that fulfilling just says, though, right? It, it is. is. Not I'm, all I'm podcasts can be four minutes long. Right. That's yeah, all I'm right. saying. <laughs> There's, we, you know, we've been doing fine all these years. <laughs> it has happened. Hey, we survived for like 120 hours. Episodes, I know. which is way more than I thought. It's so. a lot of episodes. That's like we did three okay. hours worth of podcast right We're, now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like one of our shows. Good for you yeah. guys. Hey, thank you. That's thank very you. cool stuff. Um, all right. Is there anything else we want to talk about before we say goodbye? I don't know, man. We covered a lot of bases here. No, we did. I'm excited. This was a very uh this was a very productive program today. Yeah, we really we felt we did a lot of things. We, we hit our whole rundown feelings. that we planned very uh specifically. And oh, we you... didn't talk about the election once, which no. I'm oh, pleased by. God. And that was not an yeah. intro to talk about the election. No, of course we're not. not. Going to. We, so are we're you guys happy. are you guys getting into the Halloween spirit of things? Uh, are sure. you guys you don't, Russ doesn't like it. It's too much of a hassle. Oh, oh it's totally uh, awesome. It's I have twin babies at home, so right. we're trying to figure out. I think with kids, out, it'd be fun. What are we going to, what are we going to match them as? Is it like salt and pepper or a cat and a dog? Are they, uh, uh, a cat and a dog. T- uh, what uh, are the sexes of the babies? There are, they're identical boys. <laughs> Two boys. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. You could do like <laughs> a Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble situation. Sure. Wayne and Garth. Wayne and Garth would be Wayne funny. Wayne and Garth would be, that feels like a lot of work, but sure. Yeah. Just, all you need Just is one wigs. baby Aerosmith ha- uh, onesie. Yeah. But a, the twin situation. Onesie. Yeah. I mean, I would say if you, you could dress them as those creepy twins from The Shining, but those are girls. No, no, right? no, no. I'm anti creepy twin stuff. I'm okay. trying, you know, well, like hollow, that's not no, cool. See, here's where twins we're going to begin with heads. are kind of creepy. I don't want to okay. say. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Heads. No, they're not creepy. <laughs> they're not that creepy. Which one am I looking at? I don't know. That's not creepy. Creepy. That's just confusing. Um, so, so there are rules about Halloween. Like you, you have to be scary. No, I that's not true. See, I, you can I be disagree. sexy, Ken no, Bone. I don't like that. Oh, no, the Ken like Bone that. stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm I don't sorry. Know. Yeah. So he's uh, a here's, sweetheart, though. I'm he fine. is a sweetheart. The only problem I have with the whole Ken Bone thing, he did an AMA yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I saw it. Right? Yep. Yep. It's pretty yep. good. It's right? time to bone down. Yeah, this guy's clearly been on Reddit before, right? Bone down, right? How was the most uh, uh, the highest voted question for Mr. Ken Bone. How was this not his first? The first question, which what? would which should have been, how are you still undecided? He actually he did answer that question. <laughs> like that needed to be number one. He like said, why was that? He not- said something along the lines of undecided is not um, leaning towards one way or something, which I agree is also kind of ridiculous. But like, I don't know. I think a lot of those people in the audience were like. Oh yeah, sure. I'm, I'm I'll go on TV. Yeah, I'll go on I TV. wanted to be able to ask a question. But, yeah, that's what yeah. they said about the uh, the Muslim woman. They were like, "How can a Muslim be undecided at this point? Like, that's ridiculous." It seems uh, it seems yeah. ridiculous. I would have also uh, started throwing out like math problems to them just to like see what happens. Be like, "What's the square root of <laughs> two trains are going at sixty miles per hour?" <laughs> he <laughs> he would that's break. not bad. He would break his brain. <laughs> that's yeah. not bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how was that question not proposed to Mr. Uh, Bone? Blows it, my mind. Yeah, that, that guy is milking. You have though. a cha- uh, he Him is. and Chewbacca mom. Like once you know, like the internet manages to like blow people up. Like yeah, as far I mean, as like make the them famous yeah. all of a sudden. But, but some people really embrace it, and this guy like went yeah. effing nuts over it. He, uh, I mean, he claims he's giving a lot of money to charity. Over Where's he getting it? money from? Well, he's from gonna, Uber. He's getting Uber. <laughs> I was sponsored. Yeah, Uber. yeah. He got an Uber sponsorship, and he's getting another him. one. He said ten percent of everything he gets is going to go to a charity. Good for him. 
So like Trump.com. again, <laughs> again, like you oh what you're charitable, still undecided. Yeah. Like what's I just don't get it. And he has a good sense of humor, which I like. Like yeah. he got he's been on, on the himself. internet before. <laughs> yeah, he knows what he's spent doing. some time on the internet. Well, there's plenty of people on the internet that have no sense of humor about mm. themselves. So well done, Ken. Yeah, Trump. he's doing it the right way. Good for you, sir. Um, all right, I think with that we'll say goodbye. Yes. Big thanks to Ben Fox Rubin for joining us this thanks week. Thanks for having me, guys. Where can people follow you? On Twitter, Facebook, Twitter is my handle is Ben Fox Rubin. You can follow you on Facebook Facebook as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a journalist page, so it's Facebook.com slash Ben Fox Rubin. I haven't been on Facebook in about three weeks. Yeah. That's good for you. It's good for you. It's been the most cleansing experience. I'm telling you, man. Technology is the worst. It's it's bad. bad. I like a lot of it. Don't get me wrong, but it's also the worst. It's kind of come, become a little too consuming. It's the best and worst thing that's ever happened to humanity. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> well put. I mean, that's, I would that's say really alcohol, it. but okay, we'll go with technology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> birthday cake icing. More the internet. More the internet than anything else. Uh, and Russ Frushdick, we will see you soon as well. Yep. Anything you want to promote, real quick? Yeah, working on At a history. Polygon. Yeah, working on a history of uh, Super Mario Brothers two, which is very exciting. Oh, Ooh. that is a very. Uh, I, I hope, like that. But do you know you know the story about that, right? No. So Super Mario Brothers if only two. Only you could watch a video. Yeah. <laughs> Super Mario. Well, um, and you, you guys will obviously yes. get into way more detail. But that game was never intended to be a Mario game. Yes. They basically skinned no. Mario on top of whatever the hell it was, it was. called. Doki Doki uh, Yomi Kojo Doki Doki Panic in Japan. Right. Wow. Yeah. Inspired by a carnival inspired. World's Fair that was held in Japan in 1987, and the mascots of that became the mascots of Doki Doki Panic, and eventually became Super Mario Bros. 2, and that's why it's so weird. It sounds a, like this could like, be an Amazon single. I hope you turn this into a book like, of some to. sort. You've played that game. Uh, to, like, remind me what the, the primary is. It's the you pick up vegetables out of the ground. And, oh, yeah, and you drop that, like a potion. was a weird one. And weren't one, you ever right? like, hmm, this has nothing to do with anything Mario Brothers ever. I thought, I thought it was really creative. Yeah. I never stopped to think that it was super different well, than the other what's ones. What's funny yeah. is like, well, it's only really the second big campaign game. So you're like, oh, maybe they're just going in a different direction yeah. with this one. I'm okay yeah. with that. What's yeah. funny is that they made it so different that they needed to justify it. So it's actually all of Mario's dream. So they justified it that way. At the end, you see it. At the dream. end, you realize, yeah. oh, it's his dream. Oh, that's why it's so weird. But then you think the original game should have been a goddamn dream, too, because yeah. he's eating mushrooms and turning giant yeah. and going down pipes. Yeah. That's weird, too. It is, but it all ties into the whole plumber ecosystem, though. <laughs> he's, he's unclogging those pipes. Mushroom uh, plumbers and turtles <laughs> yeah. have a real relationship yeah, it's going a big, on. Right. Weird sewage problem. Sure. <laughs> You know, totally. it's all in the book. Goombas. What are the weird? Oh, Goombas. Yes. That's yeah. what they're called. Yes. Little squat what guys. What a great little. Th- I'm so looking forward to yeah, that. The fun. clue one was fantastic. Sh- sh- thank so you very I'm much. For, uh, it should be up forward. in about a week. So keep an eye out on Polygon.com YouTube page. All right. There you have it. And uh, that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for tuning in. 866-404-CNET is the phone number. And you can shoot us an email, the 404 at CNET.com. Thank you, everyone who wrote in and tweeted about the sleep doctor yeah, stuff. A lot of good questions. We didn't even get to everything. Everything, and that's rare so that's really awesome thanks for doing that and uh always looking forward to hearing from everybody after the show we'll see you next week Peace. until then later Bye. Big thanks again to Vega Coffee for sponsoring the show today. It's not just a subscription service. It's a movement, if you know what I mean. Vega Farmers own the entire production process. They grow, roast, package their own coffee right from the origin in Nicaragua, eliminating the usual middleman so you can pay less. That's good. Paying less is much better than paying more. Take that, middleman. (laughs) Slap, 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 (laughs) middleman. And get this, your purchase of Vega Coffee enables farmers to earn more income, thereby creating a transformative impact on their families and communities. Stop what you're doing right now. Make sure you sign up at vegacoffee.com. You get a brand new subscription. When you're doing that checkout process, enter the promo code THE404SHOW, all one word. You're going to get that first bag for free.